Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to something new. This is Muhammad Ali dropping knowledge from an interview all the way back to 1974. Fun fact, I and Muhammad Ali share the same name. My name is Muhammad too, my first name is Muhammad. So we all share the same name. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content, comment on what you see next, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into it, hopefully it's a good knowledge. Together. The buzzers, everything hangs out with its own. White people are cultures different from black people. Mm -hmm. Puerto Ricans and Indonesians cannot integrate. Okay, before you even continue, notice something that is people often forget. Even black people's cultures are different from one another. Black Americans' culture is different from African culture. In African culture, within Africa, you have multiple countries, even within the same country, the country where I am from, Guinea. My tribe, the Fulanis, have different culture from, let's say, the, 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 the Malenkes, from the Susus, from the, 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 the other people, uh, the other tribes within the country. People have to understand, to understand that we just have to be able to tolerate each other and live, hopefully, in harmony. But yeah, let's continue. Egyptians and Germans cannot integrate. Australians and Mexicans cannot integrate. They have different foods. They have different music, mm -hmm. different cultures. Mm -hmm. See, you white and I'm black. If white people have a party tonight and black people have a party, the party will be 100% different. Absolutely. The music. I go to a white restaurant. We integrate today, white. You go to a white restaurant, you got to look all day on the jukebox to find some music. No, no, no. At, at our hear. party, we'll have Aretha Franklin, on, Stevie now. Wonder. Let me, you, and... let, me, let me tell you now. If I go pray a jukebox in a white restaurant, anybody black or tell you, now, you got to look all over that box for some black music. Hank Snow. Uh, uh, Johnny Cash, uh, Josh okay. White. Just FYI, I don't know any of these people he's citing. Johnny Cash, or what, I don't know them all. Any of them. All yeah. kind of names I ain't never heard of. You know, when that train comes oh. around that mountain. <laughs> when that train, 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 train comes. And that top line around I think white people's music, especially America, is country music, I think. I'm not sure. I may be wrong, and I think black people's music music is R and B uh, and hip hop. I don't know about pop is 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 because I know Michael Jackson is a pop star and Tyler Swift is a pop star, so I don't know if that is just everybody. So what I'm saying is, uh, 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 ain't I want that music? But that fits the white culture. You go in our joints, oh baby, don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cried all night. Who's that running out of my back door, honey? Oh, oh, oh. but see, those are problems. Then I go to Chinese restaurant. Please, teen, tang, tang. <laughs> so we came in a great. You know, it's funny. If this interview was was been made today, I don't think it would have aired. To be honest, unless it was live, I don't think this would have aired. We ain't gonna never have no peace. The culture, the nature's different. I don't yeah. hate you. We can eat in your restaurant. We want to marry your women. We got your women now. It ain't nothing we can't do today. But these things, the dog got. I see dogs on television eating out of the same plate with white people. I see dogs on the buses, and they do everything with the dogs. So I ain't getting nothing the dog ain't got. So really, ain't nothing in this integration. I need some land. I need some jobs. My people need jobs. We need some something so we can build and do for ourselves. And we must have some land. 40 million people. You know, it's a lot of Negroes just in New York and Cleveland, Baltimore, Washington, California. It's a lot of black. Woo, that's a whole nation. 40 million, man. They don't oh. tell you the truth about that. They want us to stop having babies. They give them birth control. Million. They're paying black women it's not to have babies It's 40 million, not now. 20 million? Yeah, they're paying black women not to have babies now. They got all kind of plans to stop our race. Well, we, everyone, so when we know all this, getting into so now control, a man with black. a man with my knowledge, what can you tell a man like me now? What should you, what's your suggestion? That's your question. Okay, you talking to me, not a dumb negro or poke shop people. Don't know the <laughs> truth. I'm free now. I woke up. Now, what are you gonna tell me now? I done gave you my solution. Some land of my own, doing something for myself like you, England, and America do. Now, I know you're not against the black man. I know you're not against me having my land, are you? Not I know you English the ruled and slave forever for a long time, but but do you do you still today don't want me to have my own country and build for myself and govern myself? Would you think that's bad if we thought like that? 
I well, what's your solution to my problem? Eight. 1974, then you all just, some white men just flew from New York to England in an hour, less than two hours. You all are so progressive. You're walking around on other planets. Now, today, I'm intelligent too now. What do you, what, what's your suggestion? What should be my movement? Integrate? Yeah, equal rights in, in a mixed society. In this society. Well, you still own the government, you still own the train station, the railroad plant, the lecture plant, these television cameras, you still make all the food, you control everything, and I'm like a leech on a dog's back. All I can do is just wait for you. I can't do nothing for myself. Integrating in your society don't mean I'm doing nothing for myself. You're doing it all. I want to do something for myself. I'm tired of depending on you. You might get broke one day. Your stores might close. Your gas pumps might cut off again. I'm relying on you now. Can I have my own land and country? Mm -hmm. Well, you've got your own freedom here, for instance. I know you're luckier than many black oh, people I'm in America, but you're your own I'm boss. I'm speaking for my nation. See, I know, I appreciate that. If I was that. representing just me, I wouldn't be talking like this, because I got it made. I'm talking for my brothers. Who's but I just don't see how, Mohammed, don't I don't see how you can slice up America into bits and get well, all the whites in one area and all the blacks well, in another. We, then we leave, then. We get to leave. But they'd miss you. I know it. One last question. At the end of your life, whether it was Allah who was saying it, Elijah Muhammad, or whether it was something that someone wrote about yeah. you after you'd gone, what's the thing you would most like people to say about your life? That's he was a great champion, or what? What was would you like man? people to think about you when you've gone? I'd like for them to say he took a few cups of love. He took one tablespoon of patience, one tablespoon, teaspoon of generosity one pint of kindness wow. he took one quart of laughter one wow. pinch of concern and then he mixed willingness with happiness he added lots of faith and he stirred it up well then he spread it over a span of a lifetime and he served it to each and every deserving person he met Muhammad Ali, thank you. Wow. i know the guy was good with his hands i didn't know how good he was with his mouth him. Wow, I am impressed, man. I know I was here saying a good man. That guy gave a whole list. Wow, how many was impressive, man? Damn. Let me know, like you guys. I know this video is not about Daba. Who do you think was the best, Ali? Because they call him the greatest. I also see some people say Mike Tyson. Who was the best? To be honest, I have never watched any tape of Muhammad Ali's boxing, nor have I ever watched Michael Mike Tyson's. I have watched some movies about boxing, but I have never watched boxing in real life. I did one reaction to a UFC fight the other day, but YouTube blocked it. You can't do anything about it. But yeah, let me know who do you think was better and what do you think about what he just said, the, all the, the truth he was speaking. Uh, that was in 1974 though, we are now in two, 2023, so a lot of things have changed since then. They've had Barack Obama and all of that, but yeah, a lot of things have changed.